Well, a very good evening and welcome to KTN Business. My name is Abi Agina. Kenya's aviation sector is looking to grow its footprint by reviving stalled projects and mismanaged airstrips across the country. While officiating over the first ever aviation workshop, Deputy President William Ruto flagged the need to have a more vibrant sector that can match other countries in Africa. The move could be a boon for local airlines looking to grow their businesses. In an effort to boost transport connectivity and ease movement in the country, the government is working on a plan to have more airstrips across the country. Kenya's aviation sector has grown immensely over the last 10 years, but lack of proper infrastructure has held back accelerated growth. The government is now working with county governments to work out a strategy to have the country more connected through the air. Most counties have put in place rehabilitation of airstrips as core to the success of devolution in their county integrated development plans. And there is no way at the KQ Kianguka if it cannot solve, then the, the, the rest of the industry gets, gets finished. The Ministry of Transport and Infrastructure is directed to, as a matter of urgency, develop a policy framework to support the collaboration between the national government, county governments, and the private sector. However, not every county has the ability to support a fully-fledged airstrip, but more basic airstrips can be used to allow light aircraft to land and take off. The Kenya Airport Authority has been working on this front with recent upgrades to the Siolo and Malindi and Lamu airports, an indication of this undertaking. The aviation industry contributes about 10% to the country's GDP, which the government hopes to double by close of the year. Our government will ensure that our airports are integrated with the wider transport system through improved access by road and rail. This new thinking could be a major boost for aviation companies seeking to grow their business. But in a move that could be counterproductive to the aviation growth, county governments are pushing to have joint control of facilities in their counties. In the county, 18 airports have paved runways, with 181 having unpaved runways. Some of them a little bit muddy, others with potholes, and others with quite a bit of bush around. Counties are committed and eagerly seeking to partner with local airlines through provision of both direct and chartered flights to these airstrips. KAA is currently the mandated body charged with managing airports in the country. According to Ruto, a sensible percentage of airstrips in the country hold enormous potential to spur regional tourism and intra-county tourism. Competition in low-cost carriers has significantly triggered a jump in demand for air travel in the country. The growing demand has been fueled by competitive pricing among carriers, which continues to enhance revenues for airlines and for consumers, it eases the burden of travel.